Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another, as always, 100% achievement guide. And this time we are getting it all in Doug Hates His Job. A brilliant beat-em-up indie game developed and published by Supervillain Games, and it's usually available for only £5.79, but is on the sale of its life right now, for a tiny, minuscule £1.15 slash $1.39 from the US. So, this is so worth it. So the moral of the story is, there's a guy called Doug, Hates his office job, I mean, don't we all? And he goes on adventure to beat the crap out of everyone, sort of Russell Crowe in that South Park episode style. For around the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic accent. Now, this would normally take about one to two hours to do, as you would normally have to play through all levels, but this time, we have a cheat. Uh, it's more of a scene select than it is a cheat. You still have to beat people up and you can still die very easily, but the scene select reduces the game massively and you can get it done in as maybe as little as 15 to 20 minutes, maybe half hour, maybe a bit longer depending on your skill range of course. But the achievements are plenty missable, but like I said, instead of worrying about what dialogue to choose and who to slap silly, we're just going to scene select our life away and enjoy it. Uh, so for those of you who do hate your job, I hope this comes in handy and you can dream about who to slap silly in your workplace instead of actually doing it and getting fired. Let the game take all your anger out for you. So with that being said then, let us begin. So you press the A button to begin and then you press the right bumper 10 times and the B button to get to this scene select. So right bumper 10 times, then B and you'll see this scene select and we're going to go straight in with scene number 3. So remember, right bumper 10 times. Press the B button and then you'll get the scene select and then we're going to go into scene select 3. And what, what you're going to do straight away is start in a fight with this guy. Now, you press the X button to punch. That would be my personal preference for most of the fighting is just pressing the X button continuously to punch. When they are on the floor, you can punch them once while they're on the floor as well. But as you can see, I'm also doing a jump kick. So you, you press the A button to jump and you press the Y button to kick. Um... And it's a good move, it is it is a good move in terms of you can basically never get hit doing that way. Um, but sometimes you can overshoot the opponent and he can just clock you square in the balls and you'll be pretty much done. So for the majority of the fights, I would suggest just um, pressing the X button continuously to punch the crap out of these people. And with the jump kick, it, it's a good sort of defense, um, but offensively it's not that fantastic. It does take a while for him to go down, although we're going to use it brilliantly on our boss. This guy. Ass face. And there's always an ass face boss like this. So I'm just um, skipping forward this part. There are quite a few of the, the uh, fights that I do end up just fast forwarding. I don't skip it all together, I end up just fast forwarding it. It's more to just get straight to the point. So, after this then, we're not going to scene select, we're going to just carry on. So my advice as well, for when you have a couple of guys that are sort of flanking you from uh, left to right, um, instead of jump kicking and then, you know, just getting flanked still everywhere, I would, you can press the right bumper to run as well, by the way, sorry, apologies, forgot about that. So if you press the right bumper to run, um, I just run past these guys, get them all grouped up in sort of three or four, or however many's there, and then what that'll do is it just makes it, uh, your life a whole lot easier so you don't have to worry about going from the left to the right so if you can just get them all either on the left or the right whichever way as you can see bam I just knock a whole bunch of these dudes out so if they if there's some on the left some on the right just get to the other side of them get them all grouped up in one and you can take a lot of people down easier now this is the first boss fantasy football Paul and there's always one wiener who takes this incredibly seriously although fantasy football I mean this is of course in America egg Egg ball, egg handball, um, football in Britain and, you know, across the rest of the world is, is the one you normally uh, would use. Um, but what, we know, what we're going to do again, we're just going to keep running from sort of left to right and we're just going to try and get these guys in a bit of a group so we can do that. Uh, Paul's going to stand up a little bit quicker, but like I said, since you've got the other two minions there, you can just knock them boys down as well. You cannot do the jump kick move on Fantasy Football Paul. Because he has a helmet on, so it doesn't work. Now, there is a knife here as well. You can actually move up and down the screen. So if you move up and down on the left stick, you can actually move up and down on the screen as well. Because uh, as you can see, there's a knife there. So you can pick up the knife, press in the X button, and press the X button to use it on Paul if you're sort of struggling with that. Otherwise, you can just run away, punch him a few times, keep running away, punch him a few times, and that will be that. So, let's press the pause button, let's press Y to quit, 
A to start and then right bumper 10 times again and then B until we get to scene select. Now we are going to go all the way up to the mega scene select 10. So nip up to 10 and the first thing we're going to do is press the B button to quit. We are saying up your nan, this is it. I, I, I can't do this anymore. You're a piece of sh I hate you. Which, how many people watching this would love to do this with their boss right now? Sadly, we can't, so we're going to press the X button to restart, and we're going to press the A button to suck it up and go to work. So you get one achievement for quitting, and oh, another day, another dollar. Menially depressing. The most depressing phrase in the history of depressing phrases. Right, all you got to do is go left and right here, and it is a case of those that sort of mi easy mini game where you've just got to avoid the cars. Um... Not much to say here. It, it's easy, but with the sort of... Um, I, I don't know about you guys, but it felt like I was on the complete acid trip, to be honest. I was... My eyes started going a hell of a lot fuzzy. Um, but it's not a long one. So just keep going left to right. Just keep looking at the top of the screen. As soon as you see a car, just nip to the other side. You know, it's as easy, as cheesy, as balls as that. And that's the end of that. We get the uh, driving level achievement and get the tip for do not eat yellow snow, which it depends where you're getting it from. Because sometimes it can, that, that shit can taste delicious, man. No, actually, don't eat yellow snow. No, it's, it's never delicious, never delicious. So again, we're just going to smash through the dialogue and we're not going to do another scene select because we're going to go into the next level, which is basically beating up old people in the park, which I know we've all thought about doing. Don't lie. Sometimes you just think... That, you know, that old man or woman who completely cut you up and then proceeded to drive 50 miles in front of you. You thought about, you know, chucking a banana or a rock at an old person's head. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me. So, same sort of thing. We're going to get these grouped up. The hardest thing about this, though, is they're dogs that are walking in the back and the foreground. Um, now, obviously, depending on where you are, you they can not actually go past you and hurt you. So, this is... Um, it may just take one or two times to get used to, but if you can, just try and avoid the dogs, either by uh, clicking left stick and uh, right stick up and down, or uh, just try and jump over them. When you are beating up an old person, though, the dog that goes past you usually will not touch you. Um, but again, it's just a case of... So that's the hardest bit. But as you can see, there's a couple of coffee cups on the ground as well. They are little health pickups. So just go up again up the screen, and you'll be able to pick that one up. There is another one there if you need it. Um, because it's the dogs that do it on this level. Otherwise, for the old people again, same sort of thing. Just get them all grouped up, punch the bollocks off him, and, uh, well, <laughs> unlucky old people! Well, that's what you get for almost crashing into me, and, uh, although then again, you know, you don't want people beating up your nan, do you? That's, uh, or your gramp, that's, it's hard. It's a, it's a tricky one, that. As long as your nan or gramp still isn't 500 years old and still do driving, then we're fine. Anyway, we got a little stealth section coming up, so spam the dialogue with A, and we're going to wait here for a second. Just for this person, as soon as this person in front of us turns back around to the right, we're going to go hug the uh, desk on the left and go behind this person. Wait by this desk, there is somebody coming down. Oh, dashy blow. But as soon as the blue triangle cone goes past you and you can fit through, nip on through, because apparently they can't see side-eye, which is good. Right, start heading to the left. And then we're just going to make a break for it now. So that person should be walking down. Just keep walking to the left and around. You should have uh, plenty of time. Now, just... Oh, here, here. Watch, be careful for that bit. As soon as this other guy turns around, that will be our cue to exit. And we're saying, middle finger up your bum, we're going home, quitting my job, F you, you stink like poo, wait, etc, etc. So, that's that bit done, and we're going to get the lost track of time achievement. Uh, because we were late, again, as is the huge. I mean, to be fair, we do look fantastic with the beard and the eyebrows. That guy don't. Right, now what we're going to do... Um, we can just press the start button here, we're just smashing through the dialogue, uh, dialogue. now we're going to go... Uh, back to the main menu, right bumper 10 times, and then press the B button once more. And let's go to scene select then. Dashi blows. Right, next we are going to go to scene 33. I believe, I believe. 
I mean, it's a tricky one. We'll get the revenge. No, 24. Sorry, close enough. So we're going to scene 24. Not quite there yet. And immediately we're going to uh, be in a fight with Sally Safecracker. So again, just keep punching her. Um, she, As long as you are not basically inside Sally right now, like I just was, uh, just stand a little bit away from her and you should have plenty of time. She shouldn't really get the a chance to attack, especially when she's got her back to me. She will never get the chance to attack that way. You can't do the moonwalk and fight, bruh. <laughs> it's just not going to work, okay, Sally? Don't do the moonwalk when you're in a fight. Either punch me or try and hacksaw my knob off to death. Up to you, whatever. Not my perky little butt, though. My perky little butt is dead, dead staying. Right, so after you beat Sally Nutcracker, um, again, we're going to quit. We're going to uh, press A to start and right bumper that schnoz ten times and then the B button to get your scene select. Back up, there it is. This time around, we are going to scene uh, 33. So, again, I wouldn't lie to you this time. Except I did, we're going to scene 27. God damn it, I was too ahead. Right, now this is an on-rail section, so you don't get to choose where to go. But, left stick to move, A button to shoot, left bumper to choose between pistol and shotgun. So, uh, just keep shooting these, like, printer things, and then press the B button to reload. Every time you run out of ammo, you press the B button to reload. You press the X button to hide underneath cars as well. And the little gold bars are basically health pickups. So, if you want, just press the start button and it'll tell you the controls. But, um, just keep spamming the A button and then keep pressing the B button at the same time, just so you've got, um, so you can keep reloading, because it does not do it automatically. Right, um... So, this bit's fine again, so just keep spamming the A button and the B button. And again, the, 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 pr the flying printers are a bit of a pain in the ass. They do fly. They, they, they are dick bags. Now, you, to use the item, which is your grenade, which is underneath my Welsh Hunter sign, you press the Y button, okay? So, for this area, I use the grenade. There's just too many enemies here. You end up dying, so just spam the Y button. And then that, as you can see there, so it's A to shoot there, hit press to use the item, so that's your grenade. So, we only had one grenade, that was exactly where we're going to use it. Choose the left path, and now there's a couple of printers that are going to appear, so quickly grab them, and if you can, grab the health uh, that comes with it, because it's always worth going into health, and shoot this guy. Right, this is the final area, press the right bumper to uh, go to your shotgun, very important this one. Uh, again, grab one of the health bars there, if you can grab both, perfect, but make sure that you're on your shotgun. This is the best weapon in the game, but it does have limited ammo. So, be as quick as you can. Uh, go for the printers on the floor first, and then go for the flying ones. I almost get my ass completely handed to me, because I didn't keep reloading. Again, A and B to just keep reloading. And <laughs> ended up just using the pistol anyway. But that is that. So it's a fairly short area, fairly short section, like most of them are in the game. But that may take you one or two tries in order to just get, uh, just to get used to it, to be honest. Like I said, I was lucky to do that first time. But when you've done that, then we're going to get the achievement. And with this dialogue uh, scene, choose unfortunately. I already ate. So press the A button. And then press the A button again for... Mm, sure, I'd love to hear your uh, <laughs> your partake on furry animals doing each other, you know, furry porn and stuff, furry animal weird stuff that people are into. It's not my thing, but uh, yeah. So we're going to press start, press the white button to quit. I don't know why people are into watching hairy horse dongs and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, whatever floats your boat, isn't it? Um, I'm not one to judge, of course. Right, so we're going back to scene select. Remember, it's right bumper 10 times and the B button. And this time, this time, we are going to scene 33. <gasps> Told you, first time as well. Apart from the other two times. But it is scene 33 this time, finally. And this is just a zombie section. So, run to the left. This is a bit easier. They do die easier. But again, just like earlier on, what you're going to do is just get them all into one big, fat, clumpy bump. And you're going to kick their stinking zombie asses. Okay? And it is pretty much as easy as that. Nothing else more to do on this level apart from uh, keep yourself... Don't let yourself get flanked. And this one takes no time at all. And fair play... I mean, it's a hell of a day, isn't it? You just think, oh, right, i got to go 9 till 5 to this crappy job. Instead, I've beaten the crap out of um, bank robbers and zombies. And Jesus Christ, what's... 
what the hell's going on? So we're just going to smash through the dialogue again, and then this next part... Again, for me, this was the hardest part of the game. It's not too bad, but basically what you do is press the X button to pick up the gun, and press the X button to shoot. Now, you can go up and down the screen as normal, but as you can see, a lot of the same people stay in the same spot. So if there's going to be a clump of people, basically, at the end, watch out for the guys with cannons. You'll know when they shoot in the... You'll know when they begin to shoot, because the uh, guys start telling them to. So just avoid them best you can. Grab the coffee cup as well if you want some health. But basically, if you are down the furthest level of the screen that you can be, um, the guys at the top of the screen won't shoot you. So that's just a little tip that I can give. The best tip that I can give, to be honest, that is. Um, so, yeah, when they're all on a clump, they can actually knock you down when they shoot you, which is a pain in the ass. But that is the best tip I can give you then. So try and stay in one spot and then move down slowly. Just keep spamming the X button as well because you've got unlimited ammo. Um, but hopefully that bit you can get done with not many issues. Again, I did only die twice, but I thought that was a slightly a bit tricky. Right, we're not having to fight this guy. Don't worry about uh, Mustachio Douchebag. We're going to quit back to the main menu. And we are going to, again, go back to scene select. So right bumper ten times, press the B button. And then for the final time of doing the scene select, we're going to go all the way up then to level 40. So we've got kind of like a platforming section now. Then we've got a trivia quiz to do, which will all be random. So make sure you've got a phone or a uh, or Google at the ready. Um, and then we've got the final boss fight to do. But again, it's not all too bad. This part's not bad either. All you're doing is avoiding some snakes. Let me guess, most of your ex, <laughs> most of your exes? Because apparently every ex is a snake. Uh, just watch out for the spiders here. As soon as one goes up, you can go under. If one goes down, you can just jump under. Watch out for the bird. Jump up here, there is going to be a bird that's going to fly right there. Just about got away with that. He's going to fly back and forth. So just keep your eyes and your butt snatches peeled. Oh, don't don't peel your butt, actually. Nah, don't don't panic about that. Uh, way up. Almost messed that one up. And that one. So, again, it's just a case of just avoiding the snakes. Wait until he goes to the right. Jump him over. You know, we've all done basic platforming tons and millions of thousands of billions of times. It's about as much uh, time as Donald Trump has said, let's fake news. <laughs> it's pretty much on the limit. Um, so we're almost done. It's a very short. It's a very short section. This one, and we're only a couple of minutes really from the end, which is cool. So that is the blue part. No, nope, it's fake news. That's not the achievement, right? So this is the trivia. Basically, he asks ten questions, but you need to get seven right. I think you've got to get the first seven right because as soon as I got one wrong, uh, in fact, no, you just need to get seven out of ten right. There is a ten-second timer, but you can pause it. Okay, okay, right. He asks eight questions. If you get three wrong, you lose. So from here, what you can do is just press the pause button. Again, you're not going to get the same questions. They're going to be random every single time. So as soon as another, another question pops up, press the pause button if you don't know it. Type it in Google real quick. And you should be pretty much golden nuggets squared away for this one. There's only one. It was the very last question, um, which actually made me lose. But uh, again, as long as you got seven correct, that is all good. But again, like I said, you can pause and the timer will be good. So the original Roman alphabet is A, X. I mean, A, it, the X is not in the Roman alphabet. Which American civilization is the Mayans? Just in case you got the same questions that I have. The world would drastically change. And it didn't, it just got worse. Uh, this one is 435, House of, US House of Representatives. Where are you getting these questions from, bruh? How many rivers are in Saudi Arabia? Zero. Man, I would be so good on the chase if I could Google the questions and, and answer before. Now, this was the one that messed me up. This was technically Soviet Union, but there was no Soviet Union, so I just guessed Russia. And apparently I was wrong. So Google bollocks me up on that one. But that's fine. We got, we got seven uh, correct. That's all you need to get through. And now this is the final boss. Now... You can't just go straight in with the punches this time. If you just try going in and punch him to death, well, he's a lot bigger than you. He's a lot richer than you. And you'll see, because every time you punch him, money comes out of his ass and his pocket, which is goddamn annoying. Um, <laughs> but that's the CEO of every company. Sorry we all made you redundant. I'm just going to go home with my million pound pay packet now. Asshole! 
Right, so the best thing and the best tip that I can give you, we're going to be jump kicking our way through this one. But the, the thing about it is not the timing, but it is the distance. So as you can see, I'm quite a way, uh, as you can see, I was quite a, quite a way away uh, from Mr. Smith. Um, because as you've seen as well, if you get too close, he can just punch you. You can kick him, but if, you, if you're too close, he will punch you down as well as you can kick him. So... It's all about distance this time. So as you can see, I'm being a bit of a mong right here. So be, even though it seems like you're too far away, he will, we, as Doug, will actually make the connection from a while away. So what I tended to do was just get it, I backed him up into this left-hand corner. As soon as he got up every time, stand about where that woman in the red is, or where sort of in between, halfway in between the balloons, make a jump for it, kick him, and that is it. So it's all about distance rather than time this time. But that is the biggest tip I can give. If you can't end up doing this and you've got to go sort of up and down and all around, that's also fine. You can do a sort of zigzag on him where as soon as you knock him down, go run past him and then punch him the and then uh, jump kick him the other side. So, uh, again, that may take one or two attempts to get right. It's mainly just to get the um, jump kicks down. But as soon as you've got that and you've got an absolute rhythm going, my friends, you are golden! But there we go. For literally... Literally one pound slash one dollar. You have got an easy as hell one thousand or one thousand. So thank you very much, Super Filling Games. I much appreciate that. Uh, the Cozard, the Cozard brothers and sisters, and man, it's a lot of family members working on this game. But anyway, there we go. So thank you so so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and hopefully that it helped. And for anyone that does hate their job, hopefully this. This just takes, uh, you know, a little sting of the actual douchebaggery ass bag co-workers that you actually work with. Um, big <laughs> thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Hit that bell icon as well for notifications from me in the future. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, big huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are legends. But that is that for me. I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye. Big live.